Right then, I'm now going to show you how we can program a simple machine gun sound effect uh, in multi-platform arcade game designer, at least for the Spectrum version anyway. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to load the demonstration game, uh, Diamond Geezer, and we're going to put the machine gun sound effect in right at the start of the game when the player chooses his control option just before we uh, clear the screen and run the game. So we go to the events menu to do that and select the um, intro menu. Now there you see we have the code to display the menu and there's a little control option loop where the player selects his control option and then right at the end we come out of the while loop and clear the screen and then the game starts. So before we clear the screen what we want is a little sound effect. Now um, a machine gun sound effect is basically a series of gunfire sounds separated by short delays uh, in a loop. Um, and uh, a gunfire sound is just a lot of white noise basically so um, what we're going to do is have a little white noise uh, loop. So we'll do that with a repeat instruction and we're going to repeat 256 times so we'll use repeat 0. Uh, then we're going to um, guess a random number. So we use get random for that. Uh, now we could do this, get random 255, um, set the border to the random number that we've uh, just um, obtained with get random. Now get random puts a random number in the RND variable. Uh, and that would give us um, a neat little sound effect, but it would have the side effect of um, setting the border colour. And we're not doing fancy border colours in this effect for now. We're just going to keep the border colour black. So instead, we're going to do this. We're going to get random 32, which will give us a random number between 0 and 31. Uh, then we're going to multiply that by 8. So that multiplies our random number by 8. So we then get a uh, random number from 0 to 248, but always a multiple of 8. That means our border colour will always be black. So that's our gunshot sound effect, but we need that inside a bigger loop um, with a delay between each gunfire sound. So what we'll do is we'll put a delay in there. So two frames I think should be enough. Let's have 20 gunshots, and that should give us our sound effect. So, to recap, um, we're having 20 shots in a loop, and each shot is um, 256 um, random numbers, which uh, are always multiples of 8. Uh, we're setting the border colour to that colour each time, uh, which is basically just going to drive the loudspeaker and not actually set the border. Uh, and then um, we have a delay each time, and that's going to repeat 20 times. So that should give us our machine gun sound effect. So we save that, we come out, and now we just export the source code. Geezer. Create the assembly listing, which should also um, create a binary for us. Clear the space for the binary. Load the binary data. Now the address, as always, 24576. Now we just type the randomize USR. And there we see the menu comes up. Now if I press a key to start the game, I should hear a little machine gun sound effect. And there you go.